Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Making Tracks. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. We're moving. We're moving from Clarenville to the Buckins Highway. This was a summer road trip that I wanted to do, which would effectively bring us from Millertown Junction right over to Deer Lake, and from Deer Lake back to Howley, then to Buckins, and from Buckins and back to Millertown Junction. There's many ways to do this. You could do it's a simple route. The simple loop that I show here is 210 kilometers. But to go back and forth to Deer Lake and to go up to the Millertown Junction Highway, the total thing is about 300 kilometers. And we did it over a course of two days, stayed in Deer Lake, or you could potentially stay in Bunks. I don't have a trailer, but you can easily rent one from U-Haul here in Clarenville for about 100 bucks for two days. So we simply drove from Clarenville to Millertown Junction Road at the base of the road, which is about 280 kilometers. The road to Millertown Junction is about 10 kilometers up the Buckins Highway on the right. We simply just uh, parked there and unloaded our machines and drove up that road to Millertown Junction. It is a 20 kilometer road. And once you arrive at Millertown Junction, you will see a lot of signage on the intersection of the trailway that shows you um, which direction to go in, how far it is, and uh, it's really the good spot to start the loop. The great thing about this trip is that you can adjust its length to meet your desires and needs. Probably one of the must-sees here is the gaff topsail itself, and it's only 30 kilometers from Millertown Junction. So you'll start off and you'll see uh, the roadway is very good. It's in good condition. Uh, there is a bit of growth coming in, so the trees are coming to meet you there. Make sure you have a dust mask, and uh, if it's, a, if it's a, a dry day, you know, there can be a lot of dust. But in terms of the surface, it's good. So you can keep on going there. The first thing you're going to come to of interest is the Mary March River trussle and it's a fairly large trussle and there's a good spot to get off and go down and wash your face and the like and uh, take a look at uh, some of that. It gets more barren as you move further and further west. So the next spot you'll end up is the what we call the quarry and the quarry is where they mine the rock that made the footings for the various trussles. And then finally at the 30 kilometer mark you will get to the the point that everyone really looks for which is really this big rock that comes up in the middle of nowhere called the gaff topsail and there's a trail that leads right up almost to its top To give us some perspective on this, I put the drone up just to get an idea of where we were. So uh, this main hill is called the Gaff Topsail, and it raises about 400 feet above the general landscape. There's more than one topsail, though. You know, if you look around, you will see other hills that are very similar to this one. So there's this one here, which is the main topsail. There's a mizzen topsail and the fore topsail. So you, you got some uh, very unique features in this area that is largely covered in greenery and large erratic boulders from uh, the Ice Age. Um, it is very, very clearly magnificent desolation over there. And if you want to get a sense, I'll put up a map here where this is in terms of the island of Newfoundland, but it's very much in the geographic center and it is very barren. It must have been difficult to try to run a railway through there in the days of the Newfoundland Railway. From Gaff Topsail you move west towards Howley and that's a 50 kilometer route. And along that route there are lots of cabins and some ponds and some nice areas to take a look at. You'll also find that uh, there are a few trussels, uh, small ones. The biggest trussel, which is the Kitties Brook trussel, which is about at the 13 kilometers along this section. And you want to take a look there, too, to go down and kind of have a look around, wash your face, uh, and just kind of take a little break. 
then you reach Howley at uh, about the 26 kilometer mark. And Howley has the world's most beautiful beach. Make sure you take an opportunity to drive along the beach there and put your toes in the water. The last part of our trip on the first day was from Howley to Deer Lake. Now this 27 kilometer route is a straightforward shot that goes down a well groomed, well maintained trailway. And along the route you'll pass by the main dam for Grand Lake. And this again is part of the structure for Deer Lake Power. So the next morning we left Deer Lake and headed back to Howley. And from Howley we took the Route 401 which goes down the side of Grand Lake to where the power station is for the Heinz Lake. So it's a beautiful road. So what we got is about 69 kilometers between uh, Howley and Buckins. And this road varies and there are signs you can see here for example there's a sign. So you can see that it runs from good dirt road to rocky to a little bit mucky. Overall though it's a pretty good road. This is the worst part right here. Uh, overall, it's a pretty good road, and you can get right to, uh, you'll come out of Heinz Lake uh, Dam there, and from there you can just kind of scoot right into Buckins, and you'll break out at the uh, the Buckins base, what we call the base, for those of us familiar with Buckins, one. bring you right into town. Buckins was a mining town, and the uh, mine closed in 1984. Many of the people who live there now are retired or work in the Grand Falls region, and it's amazing how many people in the Clarenville area are from Buckins, including myself. The um, There are a few amenities in Buckins. There's a hotel there, uh, the Red Oak Inn, that uh, you can stay in. As it, it makes a good point, a good starting point for this trip. Um, there's the Coleman's Food Center store, and there's also, on the left there, you'll see a, a gray area that's for parking your trailer, and you can park your trailer there. There are hundreds of trails in Buckins, so you, know, you might want to go in there and stay a while, because uh, there's some uh, fantastic outdoor... Uh, areas that you'd probably like to see if you haven't seen them already, particularly in the winter. Makes for a good run there. So um, once you're done with Buckins, you leave and you head down the Buckins uh, railway line, the, the trailway there, and that, that goes down through to Buckins Junction and on to Millertown Junction. So that too is about 60 odd kilometers down there. So the whole trip that we did was about 300 kilometers and as I say you can do it in variations of the whole trip you can do just the circle you can just go to Deer Lake and go back again or whatever you choose but it is a great trail and I encourage everyone to check it out thanks for watching